Hi, it's Joe, and today I'm talking about bottom boards. Something that comes up a lot in beekeeping circles is screen bottom boards versus solemn bottom boards. And a lot of times you have people that are very loyal to solid and very loyal to screen. And sometimes it's hard to figure out what the truth is. Are screen bottom boards far superior to solid bottom boards or are solid bottom boards far superior to screen bottom boards? Now before I continue, I'm going to show you what each of them are. This is a solid bottom board. It has a solid bottom, <laughs> which is pretty obvious. And it's reversible. On the one side you have a smaller entrance so you can flip this over. And on the other side you have a bigger entrance. And that's all there is to it. The hive sits on top of this, the bees enter through here. Now for the screen bottom board. It's similar in that the hive sits on top and the bees enter through here. It is not reversible, so there's only one size, so you'd have to use an entrance reducer on here. And the main difference though is that the bottom is a screen. It's a screen made of number eight hardware cloth. And there's a, a drawer that slides in and out. This is a plastic sheeting and it slides in and out. When you pull this insert out, all there is on the bottom is screening. What are the pros of a screen bottom board versus a solemn bottom board? The pros are you can provide the bees with extra ventilation, especially in the summertime when it's hot. You can pull the insert out and leave just the screen underneath. And what will happen is the air will flow through the screen up through the hive and it will give them additional ventilation. And especially when they're ripening honey, that can remove some of that humidity from the honey. They don't have to sit there fanning as much, blowing the air up through the hive and then uh, back out. The screen allows the air to flow through the hive without them having to fan it. And some people use this in combination with the screened inner cover. You have the screen bottom board, screened inner cover, the air can flow right through and the humidity can flow out of the hive. Um, now, that's how some people use it. A lot of people use it for Varroa mite control and for hive beetles. You can put this insert in. On this insert, you put Crisco. Slide this in. During part of the normal activity in a hive, some of the mites will get knocked off from the bees or they'll get knocked off from the comb and they will fall down. If you don't have a screen bottom board, you have a, a solid bottom board, they're just going to crawl up onto another bee or crawl over and uh, crawl up into the combs again. Now, a screen bottom board, from what I've seen, it can eliminate about 15% of mites through that method. So is it effective? Yes. Is it very effective? No, you still need to use treatment. And a lot of times screen bottom boards are used by uh, people that do treatment free. So it is a, a good mechanism to do some treatment because the mites are falling to the bottom and you are removing some of the mites. So it's a constant removal as long as you're putting Crisco on here or if you take this out and you have your hives high enough, the mites fall to the bottom, you can put some uh, salt, rock salt underneath the hive or uh, diatomaceous earth, and, uh, and then the mites will die like that. It's also a good way of dealing with hive beetles. Uh, the, the same thing happens with hive beetles. The hive beetles will drop to the bottom. They can fall through here, fall to the ground, or fall onto this insert. Another reason to have this is uh, for doing mite counts based on how many are falling on the bottom. You can pull this out 
and count every week. And uh, a lot of times it's helpful to dump everything from the screen bottom board, scrape it into a container, put some alcohol in there, shake it up, kind of separate the mites from everything else because there's going to be a lot of debris from the hive that falls to the bottom. Um, there'll be bits of propolis, uh, bits of wax, all that kind of stuff will fall to the bottom. So using that alcohol will help separate the mites from that. And then you can do a count and every week you can count how many mites are hitting the bottom and you'll know if your mite population is increasing or decreasing. Now if you don't put Crisco on the bottom and you just have this insert in here, all that stuff is falling to the bottom. That gives the hive beetles a place to hide from the bees. So you have to be careful of that because it can all, if you're not putting Crisco on here and you have this insert in, those hive beetles are actually going to have a place that's protected from the bees and not um, providing any benefit in reducing uh, the hive beetle numbers. And then if you do the powdered sugar treatment for varroa mites where you sprinkle the powdered sugar over all the bees or the tops of the frames and, um, and then the mites fall down, this is what you'll need to use with that because you want those mites to either fall to the ground or with the Crisco on here, fall on the Crisco, you can do a mite count and every time you're doing the powdered sugar treatment, when you're doing the treatment, you want to do it about once a week. The powdered sugar treatment gets rid of about 30% of mites according to scientificbeekeeping.com. He did a study on that and determined it was about 30% are removed with the powdered sugar, but you, you want to keep doing that continually. So those are kind of the, the main benefits of the screen bottom board. The drawback that a lot of people who are against them say is that if you remove this, it's too much ventilation. And especially in colder climates, that can be true. Me personally, it's something that I do in the summer months and only on larger colonies. I don't uh, want to do that on smaller colonies. Another drawback to the screen bottom board is if you do do that, if you use one bottom board in the winter or in the, during the colder months and one bottom board in the summer months, then you got to have additional pieces of equipment. Screen bottom boards compared to solid bottom boards are pretty much about twice the price. It requires additional labor to move all the supers aside, put the screen bottom board in place, put all the supers back on, and then in the fall, pull this aside, put all the supers back on. Now you could just leave it with the insert for the winter and if you're in warmer climates I think that's fine but in colder climates I don't think this insert provides enough um, barrier to the cold. The solid bottom board provides a better barrier. It also leaks around the edges and the bees have no way of putting propolis in there. Now another thing that can happen is if you have grass underneath the hive or plants and this is pretty low to the ground. Sometimes those plants will grow up between the screen and the plants will start growing up into the hive. That is an additional drawback. I think that's about it. Now, pros of the solid bottom board. They cost less. It's simpler to use. You have one bottom board throughout the year. You can use an entrance reducer on them if you want or if you wanted, you can just flip them over and you have a little smaller entrance uh, for smaller colonies or for uh, winter months. There's less air that comes through. So for some people that don't believe in providing extra ventilation, um, the argument is that the bees can control their environment better and this allows the bees to have control over their environment versus having a ventilated bottom where air just blows in and it's harder for the bees to control their environment. Because there's a solid bottom, the bees can propolis all the edges, all the corners, and in the winter this has a nice seal to it and the only opening is the opening that they come in and out of. Versus the screen bottom board, they're not going to be able to access 
the edges if you keep it on for the winter. There's not going to be any grass growing up into the hive versus the screen bottom board. If you keep the hives too close to the ground, the grass will grow through that screen. This allows the bees to keep the hive clean. They can get rid of all the debris down there versus the screen bottom board. They can't access it at all. It's something that's been used for many, many, many years. It's a very tried and true design and it does work. So those are kind of the pros and the cons of the screen bottom board and the solid bottom boards. If I missed anything, please leave a comment and uh, let me know. Let me know your thoughts on either one. Do you use the screen bottom board at all? If you do, do you use it all year? Um, I'd really like to get some engagement on this topic. I think it'd be interesting. And uh, please like this video. It really helps me with YouTube's algorithms when they're ranking stuff. I want to show up and recommended content for uh, beekeepers and you liking it will go a long way in helping my uh, videos place well. Also, if you like my videos and you want to see more of them, please hit the subscribe button and there's a little notification bell next to it. Hit that as well. And if you do that, every time I upload a video, you're going to get notified and you won't miss out on additional content. Thank you for watching.